Chevy Equinox passenger side view mirror. Uh, mine's busted, so I'm going to be replacing it. Uh, you have to take the door panel off. Uh, it's not actually that bad. So first you want to come in here. There's a panel. You want to pop it off. And then there's a, uh, I believe it's a 7 millimeter uh, little screw, screw bolt in there. Go ahead and get that out. 7 millimeter on that one. And then down here there's a little panel. You pop this out with a, a flathead and there's two 10 millimeter bolts. I believe or eight millimeters it's I think it's eight or ten I don't remember sorry but you want to pull the door panel off what you want to do is go around and gently kind of, kind of not gently but wiggle it and pull out and then it'll, all the clips will pop out you, you lift this up over the lock and then I kind of just let it hang a little bit I gently like let it hang you don't want to like put any weight on it because there's wire harnesses and stuff um, this little panel comes off you just pretty much just pull it off um, and I just kind of push it to the side. I don't take this all the way off. And then when that stuff is removed, you got uh, three 10 millimeter bolts. You have an electrical connector. This just unplugs. There's a little button part on the end of it, and you push it and then pull this up, and it'll come out. It might be a little stubborn, but it shouldn't be like really hard. Uh, your new one should come with it, unless you have like an aftermarket, then it might not. Um, especially for the motor inside, it'll, it'll like move the mirror. Here's my part number. Mine's from GM, so this is the GM part number, 2346-7283. And uh, so yeah, we're just gonna get these 10 millimeter uh, bolts out. And this mirror shouldn't really fall after you get these bolts out, because there's a little plastic, um, little um, clip, I guess. After you get these uh, out, you kind of have to get the electrical connector out and then kind of push this out. Um, there's a little foam gasket type of thing. Uh, the new one should come with it. Again, if you go aftermarket, uh, this or that may be missing, but this is an OEM one, so it comes with everything. Um, when you put it in, this should go all the way up, flush, almost flush, and then you put your bolts in. Make sure uh, no remaining pieces were left behind, causing yours not to be flush. And then I'll tighten those down, and then uh, just put this connector in. And then it's pretty much just reverse order of that. We're going to uh, put this little panel piece on first. Make sure it goes under your seal. And then after that, put your door panel back on and uh, put it over the lock first. And then you could put all the connectors. Some of the connectors probably popped out or weren't back in your door panel. So make sure you get those back. Um, and then uh, we'll put the bolts back in and the covers back in. When I was talking about uh, electrical, I mean connectors, they're just these little connectors that go into the metal, metal door part. But that's it, guys. Hopefully this video helped you out. I know it's quick. Thanks for watching.